I think the most important point to bring home is that South Africa is by far the largest country of the high burden countries to be affected by HIV. And if you look at in the top five, you see other countries like Lesotho and Swaziland and Botswana. But those countries are all small countries with populations in the region of one and a half to two million. And South Africa has a population of 42 million. So the absolute numbers of people infected um, are far greater in South Africa with 5.5 million people in South Africa having HIV. I became very ill, you know, because of stress. I was so stressed to think that I'm HIV positive and I lost hope. I thought that I'm going to die, you know. They're Lazarus drugs. They're drugs that make you get up and walk and live. Um, they make you well. Within weeks to months of taking them, you become well, you're able to return to work, you're able to return to your role in your family, you're able to raise your children. You're gonna live maybe it's using your, your, your drugs, you're gonna live maybe 10 years, 15 years if you, you stick to, to your treatment. They really enable people within, literally within weeks, to become well again. I have to, to stay strong, you know, I have to stay strong to, like, I, I can't die now and then my child, you know, yeah. Uh, our ideal is to ensure that everybody who's treating and caring for the patient has access to the patient information. Then uh, everybody can at least see what uh, information is available on the patient. When the question arose as to a data collection system for the Free State, uh, the Palm Pilot came on the, on the table as a potential data collection source and we developed a system for that which is, was implemented last year during, at, on the first day of the rollout and it's been used ever since. Look, the PDA has, has meant that we've got, we're the only province in South Africa to have a complete set of data on all antiretroviral treatment pro patients from the outset of the program. I had the opportunity to speak to some of the guys who use the PDAs and now speak, uh, now using the computer. Uh, they agree that it was much easier to use and much quicker. Um, I think there's less functionality to master, sort of. It's just a matter of typing, and the application itself leads you through. And they admitted that they used to get their work done much quicker on the PDA than the computer. The scale of the research, the speed with which we've had to operate, none of those things are compatible with a paper-based data capture system. I just don't think the research would have happened. And arguably, in the absence of that research, the government of the free state would not have any idea how to go about designing an, a training program because we wouldn't have been able to evaluate it in a, in a trial, which is what we're doing. So I think if you view valid information and research information as an essential component of service delivery, then without this PDA technology, we wouldn't have been able to provide that kind of support to the, the health service managers. And so, arguably, their decisions on how to manage their program and how to train frontline workers would have been different and perhaps worse. PDA, <laughs> it was alright. I'm already there. Yeah, it, it was fun. I like it. I enjoy working with it. Yeah, but if I want to enter like patient's ID number, I can't go back to to change the information also and to retrieve everything. And it takes time before we can upload it because sometimes the the PDA say there is an error on a modem. If someone wants to fix something maybe from outside, it interrupts with the, that PDA. It's easy for the information to go away. We are using the telephone line here in the clinic, but now our line is not in good condition, so I used to, to apply at home. The computer is just beneficial where the electricity system is available, just there. But with PDA, all over, a person can go all over with it. I would say if they are actually used properly, the PDAs, 
they are the most important way of reporting the data. You don't even wait for a month, you send it just instantly. If you can look forward for the future, maybe the number of patients is going to increase because at this point in time, the program is still at its lowest peak. As time goes on, because people are, are aware of the program and they come in numbers, maybe the, uh, by the size, of, looking by the size of the PDA, maybe is it too small or is it too? Can it capture a lot of patients in one day? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> You have to understand that the province, the, well, the Department of Health, first of all, we've got a relatively large um, novel infrastructure, which, if I remember correctly, most of the other provinces don't have that. So when we want to do online systems, that gives us a bit of a, we, it's infrastructure in place. We've got uh, networks in place, we've got servers in place, PC. So it gives us an edge on implementing online systems. We'll look into the future, and one of the ways that is most obvious in South Africa is that um, most almost everyone has a cell phone and SMSing. So we'll send information to the patient that tomorrow you should go for treatment or SMSs to the nurses or the health workers that such and such a patient has not patched up. Would you please go and see what's wrong with them? Uh, eight, ten months into the program, the reality is, is facing us in the face. And one realizes the complexity of the issues uh, that's, that's at hand. This program is no easy program to implement, especially on such a large scale. And you need a lot of people, as well as expertise from outside, that can assist uh, to try and resolve some of the problems that we're facing at the moment. There's no easy answers. But I certainly believe as we uh, deal with the issues together, uh, we will successfully, successfully find answers, hopefully that other countries in the future can learn from how we do things. I hope we can support people living with AIDS to live like everyone else. It's not the end of the world if we've got AIDS. I'm scared. Can I go now? Yeah, you can go. <laughs>